Greetings and welcome once again to all the people taking the time to watch this video and follow this channel. It's me, the AFAL champ, the adult fan of LEGO champion, here with another LEGO set review. I've been doing a lot better of having actual set reviews recently. Set 63 to 7, the horse transporter set. So I got uh, this set back in January when it first was released. I saw this and instantly knew uh, this was something I wanted. It's a little different than a lot of other uh you know lego city sets at least recently and uh you know it has the it has the new horse has a pretty decent pretty decent uh build for a car and a trailer uh new print on the torso there and the woman you know there's a lot of a lot of good things with it to this but i, I decided to build it since uh, i think i want a bunch of vehicles for an upcoming lego city update so this one has one and so i went ahead and built it so uh in terms of the positives again i already mentioned uh mentioned several of them again yet the horse with the new not just the horse in general but then also in a new color actually that saddle is a real good color too i don't know that i have that um with the minifigures they're both solid i really like the pants on the on the guy that just kind of medium blue the woman also has a uh, a new print and a new headpiece or hairpiece whatever you want to call that the dog seems just kind of random, like a good add-on, but again, it's a good add-on. So, like I said, pretty good. Uh, the guy, I always like when they do this, has both the hair and the helmet. That's always, always nice. Uh, the build itself was actually much simpler than I thought it would be. Didn't mean to shake everything there. All right, uh, this the build for the, the trailer and the SUV was a lot, like I said, it was a simple build. Um, much simpler than I thought it would be. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, it, it, it was just simpler. Uh, I also like that the SUV, if you look inside, has space to fit two minifigures. I feel like that doesn't happen very frequently that you actually have space for two minifigures to ride in a single vehicle. Uh, obviously the trailer hooks up. The trailer also has a working door. That's also nice. It has a working door for the horse, not for the people, but for the horse. Um, I do like both color schemes, both this in the trailer, the red, white, and black, and the two-tone blue with kind of dark gray here on the, on the, S, on the SUV. Also, I like these pieces uh, as use, being used as as mirrors. I think that's a good use. And I don't know that I've ever, ever seen that before. Um, you got more, the, the dark, uh, what do you want to call it? The dark brown or the transparent black or transparent brown windshields. I always think that's kind of odd, but, uh, I, you know, it happens. I mean, it, it, I like that it just has variety in, in actuality, you wouldn't have a tinted windshield, but, uh, I do, I do think it makes it look cool. Uh, it's not all positive though. There is some negativity to it. Um, I think there's some weird color choices. I mean, it's weird that the SUV and the trailer don't match. I mean, I, I know that they don't always in real life, but when you're buying them as a set, you would think they would. Uh, the sticker, the white of the sticker is different than the white of the pieces, which again, I've mentioned that before also. That drives me nuts and it seems so obvious. Uh, you know, you need two of these exact horse pieces. Make that a print. I mean, a, a print would be so much better anyway. Just make that a print. I'm sure that you can work that logo into something else, whether it's a friend's set, whether it's other horse-themed stuff, just I'm sure that, that they could justify having that. Uh, I thought it was weird that you had the coral and the white on the whatever you call these bars that the horse jumps over. The build isn't bad, it's just a weird color choice. Then on the inside of the car, you also have, it's a two-tone blue car with a red interior. That doesn't doesn't make sense either. Also looking at the SUV, you've got some little weird spots like right there where the, uh, you know, it's just like the underneath shows through. There's some, some like gaps in the building. Uh, and then I guess the biggest, you know, negative of the whole thing would just be that the price to part ratio is pretty bad. It's 196 pieces. Am I remembering that correctly? It's less than 200 pieces. And it's a $30 set. So... You know, for $30, you'd, th you'd expect something closer to 300 pieces. I know that you've got some, like, wheels and a big uh, big animal there and, you know, a, a, another animal here. But, man, that's that's not even close to a good price-to-part ratio. So I, I wish that that was 
that that was better. But uh, as a whole, I do still like the set. And because of that, I am still going to give it a B, pretty solid B too. So uh, you can tell me if I'm right, wrong, or somewhere in between. Uh, please, I'm going to encourage you to hit the like button. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me, am I right, wrong, somewhere in between? You know, again, let me let me know what you think. Also, uh, hit the subscribe button so you can you know see more of these videos in the future. Hopefully, this five or six minutes has provided whatever it is that you come to these videos for, whether it's entertainment, information, whatever it is. I hope you got it. But uh, hopefully I hear from you soon. Hopefully you hear from me again soon. And as always, thanks for watching.